Hello and welcome to Mazzano for round six and seven of the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship. We're here on the track walk. Let's go talk to some drivers. Oliver Rowland, I'm coming to you. Welcome to Mazzano. How are you doing, bud? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Very good. Let's. Uh, well, before we talk about the track on this track walk, let's just talk about your incredible run of form so far this season. This has been unbelievable. We've got three podiums on the bounce, two, two pole positions. You're uh, you're flying, mate. Yeah, it's been good. I think it's kind of been a bit of a dream, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, I was hoping that I'd be more competitive coming back to Nissan, and it's been more than the case. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep working in a good direction and, and keep up the performance. Well, you're coming off the back of a great podium in a home race for the team. There's a lot of energy there, a lot of confidence to bring into this circuit, Mazzano, a permanent layout, as we know. How might that differ? Well, it's a completely different challenge, you know. I think... Um, from a qualifying perspective, we should be okay, I think, because we have a competitive car over one lap, but we do lack a bit of efficiency, so in the race there's going to be huge amounts of saving. So if we can take the three points, that would be welcome for Paul, and then just try and hang on in the races. And, you know, to be honest, if we can score twice some points, I'd be pretty happy. In a word, what can we expect from this weekend's races? Yeah, a bit, a bit nuts, a bit like Portland, I think. I didn't, I didn't race last year in Portland, um, but I imagine the first race in particular will just be 10 laps of numerous overtakes. And then when somebody with the best efficiency gets to the, the right point to go, everybody's going to go. I call that launch time. Exactly, like a cycling race. Love it. Thanks, Ali. Cheers, mate. I saw you took a different route to everyone else. You did the full pit exit. Why, why is that? Yeah, we wanted to look at like first at the pit exit. And then later on, we finished it up with the start finish straight. So... Different approach to the others. No stone left unturned. That's what I like to hear. And what I expect from a man that is the most recent race winner in Formula E. Now we come into Mazzano. This circuit, very, very, very different to Tokyo. Clearly it is. We have to look at a few different topics like, for instance, track limits, the curbs. Uh, there are different lines you can use on this track. You know, normally on street circuits, there is mostly one line that you can take. Here there are quite a few as well. We have to look into the race with the, the overtaking, with how to position ourselves. So, yeah, lots of new new things for us. Uh, first time for me that I'm walking this track, actually, so I'm very, very curious. Not to put too much on it, but Brazil, an unbelievable climb up the grid into the points. Tokyo, your first race win of the season. Now we're in a home race for the Maserati brand, going in to a home race for the MSG team, going in to a home race for you in Berlin. This feels like it could be the start or the continuation of something special. So you're saying I have to win all of them or what? <laughs> well, I, I mean, what do you reckon? Would you like to? <laughs> I would love to, but yeah, there are 21 other drivers who have the same, the same goal. I think, yeah, for sure, the last few weeks have been, have been great and I'm feeling really good with our package. But, you know, you always start from zero again and we have to do our homework right uh, this weekend full focus now on the first three practice and yeah we try to execute well to score good points to to keep the the good consistency and then yeah we see what's possible in the, the coming weeks you said it there consistency it, we know it's the most important thing in formula e it is what wins your championships and you are one of only two drivers to have scored in every single race so far this season it feels like though Mazzano is going to be one of those races where it's very difficult to even comprehend what might happen Absolutely. I mean, we have to prepare for for the chaos a bit, I think. And yeah, you can still affect quite a few things from your side with how you how you position yourself and how or like what strategy you choose for the for the race. So yes, there are much more unknowns compared to other races, but still, I think we can we can do the job from our side to try and um, yeah affect the race in the best possible way. So with that in mind, if you could give me one word. For the, if you can give me one word for what we might expect from this race, what would that word be? <laughs> Overtakings. Overtakings, I like it. And finally, it's Masters Week this week. I know you're a golf fan, yeah. you're a golf player. Yeah. Let's think about Champions Dinner. Who would be at your Champions Dinner and what would you be eating? In the golf, you mean? In, in, let's say in a race. You're racing Champions Dinner. So Formula E or racing in general? Formula E. Formula E. Well, obviously, all the all the champions have to be on the yeah. on the on the table from from Formula E. And um, what would be what would be eating? I think Wiener Schnitzel because it's my my favorite food. So yeah, local cuisine from from Austria. Love it. Thanks, Max. All right. See you.
Oh yeah, super busy walking around the track. Um, Pascal Verlein, championship leader going into uh, this double header in Mazzano. How are you feeling? Actually, really good. And you? I'm very good, yeah. So you're confident, you're ready for the race this weekend? Uh, yes, we are. I think uh, we have a strong package. We know that it's a new track for everyone, so we need to, um, yeah, hopefully find a quickly a good setup and uh, start already with a good base, but uh, yeah, do the work then. A new track for everyone in Formula E, but quite a few drivers that have experience here in other categories, you included in yep. DTM. Yeah, but most of the track was probably different, right? So it was the whole first sector. It's kind of a longer track um, in DTM, so it's still different. It's different cars and it was six years ago, so anyway, hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. So this obviously is going to be a different sort of style of racing here on a permanent circuit. It's very wide. There's lots of chance for overtaking. What sort of races might we see this weekend? Yeah, it will be a race like uh, Portland, Berlin, Sao Paulo, um, those kind of races. I think 1,000 overtakes is, is what we <laughs> estimate in that race. And uh, yeah, I think in the end it will get quite chaotic. Okay, and then where does that sit within your driving style and your package? Are you confident on a circuit like this with that sort of racing? Yeah, it suits us perfectly. Well, we like to see what you, we look forward to seeing what you can do with it. Thanks, Pascal. <laughs> Thank you. All good. You're Thanks. here. It's, it's basically like a, it's a half home race for you. Uh, actually, we can say like a full uh, home race. Okay. Yeah, obviously I'm half Italian, but it's the only home race that I have like for for this for this year. True. So very happy to be uh, to be here in Misano. We have uh, it's sunny. Uh, we had great food uh, yesterday. Life is good. I'm loving the energy. There's such a positive energy around you. It's like I instantly feel more positive, which is good. <laughs> um, let's talk about this track because there are a handful of drivers, maybe a bit more than a handful, that have experience here. You are one of them in DTM because you've actually double podiumed here, haven't you? Uh, not sure about the double podium. I think that I did one for sure. Probably two, yeah. Can remember, actually. It is two. I can yeah, tell okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> I've got good memory. <laughs> well, I just looked it up yesterday. Okay. Um, so what are the characteristics of this circuit that might dictate what sort of Formula E race we see, or races? It's difficult to answer you because obviously Formula E is uh, always <coughs> so um, unpredictable and uh, the kind of racing that we will have here will be actually very similar to the one that we've uh, seen like in Portland with uh, a lot of like slip streaming, a lot of action, a lot of overtaking. And usually like in this uh, little, bit, a little bit like chaotic races, mm -hmm. it's, it's hard, you know, to predict and you know what's going to happen. But uh, I'm sure it's going to be it's going to be cool for the fans. There's going to be uh, plenty of show, and it's going to be uh, an entertaining race. There's a real upward trajectory, I think, of you at the moment because at the, the Mahindra team, kind of the performances have been getting better and better. Qualifying in particular, if you can do that again here, get kind of up within that pack, maybe not lead because that could be, could be difficult here. <laughs> um, what can you hope from this race? Uh, as you said, the, the last race weekends were quite positive for us, um, especially in qualifying. We are proving that this car, you know, can qualify actually quite quite well. Uh, we are trying, yeah, we're trying to bring more competitiveness uh, and extracting more performance out of the car. Uh, yeah, race weekend after race weekend. I hope that it's going to be the case also for for here. You can never be sure in Formula E, as I said, like because everything is so unpredictable. But I'm hoping that we can qualify the front and then the races, we still need to figure out like a couple of things. Mm -hmm. uh, Tokyo was better, but we still need to make a step uh, in the right direction. Okay, and finally, if I could just get one word to describe what we could expect to see from these races this weekend, what would that word be? Spettacolo. Oh, in Italiano as well. Perfect. Thanks, Ale. Thank you. Robin Fryens, I'm coming to you Hello. on this track walk in Mazzano. How are you? So-so. Could be oh, better. Oh, oh, that makes me sad to hear. What can I do right now to make you feel better? You nothing. The engineers give me a good car I'm happy. Okay, great. All right, well, with that in mind, let's talk about this race. Right now, where we are, we're on a massive straight. It's very wide, maybe even yeah. three cars wide. Four. I sense a lot of overtaking. Yeah, yeah, true. It's going to be a Portland race for sure. Okay. Uh, qualifying, yeah, everybody goes for those three points. But at the end of the day, if you're starting P4 or P15, I don't think it will make much of a difference at the end. So when you say Portland race, a bit of extra context, what do you mean by that? What can we expect to see? Uh, a lot of saving at the beginning, everybody driving quite slow uh, to have this overlap on energy. Uh, and then halfway, everybody's fighting for, uh, for their positions. 
and it's going to be hard battles for sure. Okay, so bearing in mind we know what, how Portland ended up, we know that was a pretty uh, chaotic race. What are you and the team going to do from your side to try and maximise the strategy and, and, and in particular make sure that launch time, which is what I call it, the launch time, is uh, yeah. spot on? Yeah, uh, I wasn't so good in hitting it last year. I mean, also, I wasn't so good on energy last year with uh, the car I had. Uh, but Envision showed last year that they, they've been very, very good on this. Uh, Cassidy won in Portland. Uh, they've been strong in other races, which had the same kind of racing style. Uh, so I do believe we'll be on point. And yeah, it's all about that launch time timing, right? So I think it will be 12 laps till the end, till everybody put in their elbow. That late? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Uh, it depends. You know, a safety car, it mixes everything up, but we'll see. Okay, finally, I want to ask you about experience racing on this circuit, because we know there's quite a few drivers that have experience in Mazzano from different yeah. categories, but there's only a handful, maybe even less, maybe even only two, actually, that have experience in multiple categories, you being one, yeah. DTM and GT World Challenge. Exactly, yeah. What sort of advantage does that give you? How well do you know this circuit? I know it pretty well. Uh, obviously, the track is not completely the same. We have like a chicane here coming up now. We don't do the first sector as, as normal. Uh, but at the end of the day, I kind of like understand the asphalt of how aggressive it is on the tires, etc. Uh, know a bit, little, little bit of tricks here and there in some corners. So is it, it's a, it is an advantage. But at the end of the day, I mean, we are driving a world championship. Everybody will figure it out in FP1. Okay, so there is there's something there, but it might not last as long as you like. Uh, I don't think so, but I do hope so. Okay, and finally, one word for what we can expect to see from this weekend's races. Mayhem. You always give great words. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Thank you.